got up to the top of the hill. Take it too well. And look what we got. Woo hoo hoo. Ooh, looks like we just got him by a toe, maybe. Calm down, big guy. It's okay. It's all right. Calm down. <clears throat> A big coat. I had a hole about right below that trap going directly down into that little embankment. Had the trap set there. Looks like he's got a rub spot on him. But my father in law has been hunting up here ever since uh, bow season come in in Kentucky. And he's seen a lot, a lot of coyotes. But uh, I'm going to stop here and go ahead and take care of this guy. And I got a couple more traps up here. I don't know if I got anything else or not, but I'll check it. There's a big bobcat I've seen up here. <clears throat> he's a pretty docile coat. What do you say, buddy? Not happy, huh? can't blame you you can't be killing our cats and dogs though man <laughs> but all right i will dispatch this coyote that's the first one for the year and um after that i'll try to get a little bit of footage of me remaking the set and let you know you know kind of what it was like so i'll see you all here shortly Man, it stinks like a coyote. Bad. <laughs> bad. Really bad. <clears throat> mm. You must burn your eyes. Dig my hole back out. All right. <clears throat> That's where all that come from up there. <clears throat> Let me find my bait hole. Wherever it was. Totally trashed the whole place. Cows over the hill. Not my cows. Thank God. <clears throat> I don't know where it's at. <laughs> it's totally gone. <clears throat> okay. Anyways, we'll just put another hole in. <clears throat> Hey, caught that in the new Duke. <laughs> Believe it or not. <clears throat> I don't normally have toe catches, but you know what? It wasn't a Minnesota brand. The dog is bent. <clears throat> I had to buy one just to try it, but... I'm second guessing it now. <clears throat> I'm gonna take it out. Pulling the Duke. Going back to man trap. One coat. <clears throat> One coat. Somehow the dog is bent. It's a pup. It's last year's pup. And it won't latch. The jaws are bent. Brand new. Brand spanking new. Bolt it, spray painted it. And you can see the the brand new metal on it. Oh well. Get 
good old Makita. Good All right. You think she had tried it, huh? And I bet this trap's caught, I don't know, at least 10. <clears throat> Still kicking. Made in the U.S. of A. I wondered about that trap. That's why I bought it. I thought, man, it looks just like it, but... You know, that old looks like a duck, walks like a duck crap. Sometimes this isn't right. <clears throat> Let me get my shovel. Oh, I'm out of whack. I didn't mean to catch you on that pick. <laughs> Usually it takes a couple, two or three days. These traps have been out. Uh, I think that was the second night. It's, the weather's been like 60 degrees here too, so... You know, I didn't figure they was hurting for food. I think that guy just wasn't the brightest of the bars. Brightest of the stars, not bars. <clears throat> anyway, wax paper, mix it up with some coyote dirt. Get it stinking like everything else around here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Father-in-law's gonna be happy though, he was of wood <clears throat> he wants them out of here he deer hunts i don't deer hunt just because basically because i like trapping so much i don't have time for it for work all that crap i'll get you guys a better angle on this as soon as i get it in the ground Afraid to push that daggone thing in there. <clears throat> uh, tell you what. Tell you what. I'll show you in a minute. I'm trying to get a little too much. <clears throat> That's right here. Black dirt. You know it's hot when the drug planes are still going over. <laughs> hey, <Russ. clears throat> yeah, just pain in the rest. Around the edges. Freaking leaves. <clears throat> I've been sick the past few days. Not cool. Got it in there, got it pretty level. Clean up your pan. Press all the way around that thing. Just do not press the pan. If you do, you're gonna get popped. But you know what, you got it. I've only been popped about 10,000 times, so. Leave a little bit of leaves right on the side to <clears throat> kind of deter them a little bit. I don't know. There isn't no set plan on this crap, guys. Just get it in the ground and make sure it don't move. I don't care what you do with it. It's up to you. <clears throat> All right. Brush up, stir it up. 
<clears throat> Shifter done. Trowel done. Now, traps right here. Pan. Don't forget where your pan is. <clears throat> There's the hole. I knew it had to be somewhere around here. <clears throat> Get back in it. Probably wouldn't have caught that guy if my hole wasn't that deep. <clears throat> now, all this dirt could just probably got bait in it, maybe. I don't know. But we're gonna chuck it. <clears throat> and I'm gonna move out some new bait. Same bait, just new. Clay, you gotta pull it out. Alright, put a little scratchings, I might even take his claw and put a couple of scratchings around the hole. Right. Let me put this stuff up. Alright, there we are. <laughs> Back in action. <clears throat> you just take this dude here. Brush up some stuff around it. Knock down this little high spot. If not, he will step there. <clears throat> little piece of wood. All right, I got a little tree knot right here. Right here. Trap. Right there. Hole right there. I guess we want to say it's offset. It's about... Two or three inches to the right of my hole. <clears throat> Got a little stepping stick here just to prevent. She ain't gonna step on all them leaves if we can step and clean top of it. Usually. <clears throat> and the bait is my very own. <clears throat> it's gear meat with some muskrat glands and some red fox glands. It's almost built like Hawatha Valley is described, but with your meat. <clears throat> I'm not joking. It works. Right there lays the proof. <clears throat> but, a little bait in the hole. Cooling down. Well, started to. <clears throat> These coyotes are finally starting to eat this crap. Or look for it at least. <clears throat> Don't need no urine. Got plenty of urine. Smell it for 40 feet. <clears throat> Done that. Pretty much glands. Couple drops, literally, literally. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that's it. That is it. <clears throat> There's one down for the year. It's a young one, but it's pretty good size. You can tell he's young though. He's got a few knots matted up, and you know, put my old pan cover. There's <laughs> an old salt box. Pick up your trash while you're out in the woods, too. They're your woods, just like everybody else. Well, some people just don't take care of them. But, there it is. That thing goes deep down. I may put a little sheep's wool in there just for the fun of it. <clears throat> it don't matter, guys. Don't stress out if you don't have sheep's wool. But, uh, other than that, that's it. And I'm going to head up on heel number two and see if I can't do some more collecting kind of like a cop I just go around harassing and collecting <laughs> we'll see you guys later alright guys here's a coat that I did not end up taking the pelt 
but there's something I want to show you. This guy here is starting to get a touch of mange. <clears throat> and you can imagine being outside and it's freezing cold. And, you know, I mean, look at this. It's almost down to the skin. Bare skin showing. And he's going to have to live out here all winter. While everything else is big and healthy. And, you know, running the roost. And getting all the food. He's going to have to stay out here. And eventually he'll freeze to death. Which is a horrible, horrible way to die. I mean... <clears throat> But by looking at it, you can tell he's young. The backside still looks good, soft, fluffy, good tail. But right in here, I thought it was a rub when I first seen him, but it goes all the way down to the skin, and they just don't rub down to their skin. So, uh, let me see if I can find that. Huh, the bone. <clears throat> I mean, look at that, guys. That is awful. But if you get a chance, you catch one of these, you know, don't release it back into the pack because what's going to happen is the rest of the pack's going to get this. And I mean, it spreads like freaking cancer. So, and he looks pretty healthy, all except for that, that mark. It goes all the way down to his elbow or, you know, the back of his front leg on both sides. On this side, it's a whole lot worse than the other side, but uh, it's good to get them out of the pack. That way, you don't infect all the other ones. Make sure I would I'd recommend just not even skinning it. That's what, I'm not going to fool with it. I'm not going to take the glands. I'm not going to take the pelt. I'm just going <laughs> to take him up here, and maybe in a few days, I'll bring a shovel up and dig him a little hole. And <clears throat> Just leaving the rest. Because right now, he's, he's no count. And, you know, it's, it's not his fault, but, but he's got it. And the best thing that you can do is try to try to take these out of the pack so the other ones ain't got to deal with it. But I just want to show you guys that. <clears throat> One last look at it before I go. That's where I shot it. But, uh, yeah. It's not a good story for these guys. They live rough anyways. And on top of that, they're going to have to live all the way through March. You know, usually it gets down below zero. <clears throat> and they'll suffer all the way up until they die. So, that's it. Just take them out of the pack and go on about your day. I know you hate to kill an animal and not take its pelt, but you're kind of doing it a favor and you're doing all of its family a favor too, so... Other than that, guys, I'm going to head on out of here and get back down the hill. It's about to get dark, so. This is the pretty land up here we got. It's my father-in-law's, actually, but <clears throat> he lets me run wild on it, so can't complain there. But, guys, you got to think about the animals. You know, you don't, don't just think about the trophy or the pelt. You know, even if you're not doing it for that reason. You need to step back and think about what the actual, you know, causes and the and the final reaction is going to be. You got to sit in there. Got a little bit of scat right there. I don't know if you can see it. A little bit. I caught one here already, and I caught one over there. I showed you in another video. Guys, I'm going to get out of here. We'll see y'all there.